Hey guys, how you doing? VT Muster here. Hope all is well. Well, I'm outside today working on the ground mount system. I have a branch of M215s and M250s on the same trunk cable. The M250s at the end of the array here are not outperforming the M215s and they should. And that's the issue. So thinking that because the placement of the M250s are at the very end of the trunk that uh, they're not uh, doing as well as the M215s which are at the beginning of the trunk where it interfaces with the uh, junction box and disconnect. I want to thank Jason Andrade from West Coast Sustainables in uh, California. Uh, I was thinking this, the placement was an issue and uh, he consulted with me several weeks back and said why don't you move around microinverter and I was thinking, hey, I thought the same thing. So I'm going to do it today. Finally have time. Uh, it's weekend. It's October 8th. Uh, overcast day. So I'm not going to lose a ton of power by shutting down this branch of panels. So I'm going to walk you through the uh, process today. I'm just going to switch two microinverters around. I'm going to move an M250 from the last five panels. And I'm going to switch it with an M215 in one of the first five panels here. Just one more thing here. The first five panels are M215s because that's what I first built. And then the following year, uh, I built another set of five panels. Uh, and I used M250s because that was the latest technology that was out at the time. Since then, I've gone ahead and built 10 more panels and they all use M250s. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and just take off the M250 on the end panel here closest to the M215s over there. Just need to cut here, disconnect my MC4 connectors, and then unscrew the bolt up here. I'm gonna to try to take off this inverter without taking the whole panel off. I think I can get access to it and it won't be a problem. This one has the ground connector on it. This is the first generation M215, so I have to release the ground cable. Let's see here. So I went ahead and took the M215 off. I'm gonna go ahead and put my M250 on in this location. Go ahead and switch the microinverters. Halfway done here, I was able to keep the trunk attached through the cable ties here. Just figured out I could get my screwdriver in there. And it's just one less thing I have to do now. All right, since this is an original M215, it does require an external ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and run a bare copper wire and connect it to the closest junction box, which is only a couple of feet away. This is just temporary until I see how um, the inverters um, perform in their new locations. All right, guys, I just finished installing the M215. Went ahead and brought the ground over here and just clamped it onto existing ground. So I'm all set there. And let's go ahead, 
Flip the power back on. All right, all set here. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the video right here. Gonna wait a few days and see how these microverters perform, if the output is the same, or if the M250 in its new location is gonna operate at full power and see how the uh, M215 will also react. This will tell a lot about uh, what's going on with this situation. If it's just because of the placement of the M250 and M215, or if there's a, another problem all right, I'll let you know the results here. I have another video coming at you soon once I have some data here. I want to thank you for watching and taking time to check this out. If you're having any issues with phase, which probably you aren't because they're so rock solid, uh, hopefully this helps. As always, thanks for watching. You know what to do. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, big thumbs up. It's always appreciated, and we'll catch you next time.